All right, I have found mud fossil giants, and they're enormous giants. They're hundreds of feet tall. And I have the evidence, and they've been DNA tested, and they're 100% human. And it says in the Bible there was giants in the earth in those days, and then it just drops it. And guess what? They're right. The earth literally appears to be made of giants. This is Giant's Causeway, and it has every single architecture of the human body. And all the earth has the exact same architecture. It's called the foliations of the earth, and they are identical to the human architecture of muscle tissue and, and, and fibers. We have all of the characteristics of the human body or any creature here. There's, there's the muscle fibers, there's the striations of the muscle fibers where the little, um, I forget what they call them, but there's, a, there's layers in between them. They turn them into barrels. They have the, um, the crystalline structure and the reason that these are crystalline structure like this is because the blood makes a six-sided uh, hexagon when it solidifies, and I can show that and demonstrate that, and also every single fiber in your body and organs and everything have fascia around them which separates them from everything else. That's why these things aren't all glued together. They're, in, they're because of the fascia, and that's exactly what happens in the mud fossils. And I intend to show with the video that's coming up that the chemistry is here, everything's here, so there's virtually no question. The emphasis points are there, just you, you make your own decision. I'm saying there's no question, that's my point of view. All right, this is from uh, ericwelker.com. Now, these are the exact identical same formations that, that muscle forms. Now, they come up with, this is the patterns of the earth. <laughs> this is exactly what they find the structures inside the earth. They are identical to the patterns of human muscle or muscle. Now here's the other patterns. This is the patterns of <laughs> those are patterns of uh, of tendons. It's exactly the pattern of tendons. There is no difference. Identical. And then there's also they have the other ones that are the. Uh, uh, that are all this stuff. This is the, the um, vascularization of the human body. It's identical. There is nothing here that, that isn't correct here. Nothing. And uh, all of this is found in these giants. Now this is from innerbody.com. You can go in and study up all on the human body and all uh, organic structures, but this is this is totally identical. Not even... I mean it's identical to the structures that are in all of these giant creatures that we're finding around the world. And Giant's Causeway has these in gigantic quantities. You look at it closely, I mean, you can't miss it. There's, there's, there's nothing to miss here. And this is all chemically testable because we can find the areas where there's blood supplies. Because the blood has to supply every single organ and every single cell in your entire body. So there's no question that we can find the areas that are supplying these bloods. They are there, they're going to be there, there's absolutely no question. Alright, these are the little beads that you'll see running through the muscle fibers. That's why they're separated, because that's how they pinch. Okay, this is an article from a place called dev.biologist.org. Now, this is about tendon emphasis points, which are the emplacement, the anchors, that anchor the tendons into the bones and so forth. And, and so, in other words, that's what pulls on. Now, it has to anchor solidly. So what it does is it creates a stem and a ball. And they go through all this in here. If you want to read this, it's fine. But it comes from this research, which is right here. Now, and this is the same place, dev.biologist. And here's the formation. There's the tendon strap. Here's the tendon ball. And here's as this begins to start. Now, as it starts to grow, you see this mineral. Mineral starts to form in here. That's the spiky little plagioclases. And as it grows, it makes them spiky looking. And you saw that little platy looking spikes all over them. And these start to stretch out. The, uh, the, the, the blood cells that are out here because it turns into like a four or five different transitional uh, between the actual emphasis point, you see, and there's other there's expressing cells and so forth in here. Anyway, it, it's, it's 
understood now. It is not well understood, I'm not, I don't think, but these guys are as close to understanding as anybody that I've seen. And there, that's the strap. All of this stuff starts to happen as a program. It knows, the body knows how to make that thing stick inside the bone, and it does it with all these spikes. And that is exactly what happens. All these spiky things happen, and of course there's a little transitional goo between that and the, 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 you know, the tissue so that you don't, it's, it's not like jabbing you with knives inside of you. And, uh, and that's just how it works. All right, this is a, um, a tendon assembly that is partially burnt up, and it burnt off the volatile stuff that was in the strap. This is a strap, and it runs right down to a tendon emplacement, and that right there, that ball, is the tendon emplacement. And it's round, and it, what happens is they come down and they invest right into the bone or whatever tissue and so forth. And this is extremely spiky. That stuff there is, is as hard and spiky as it gets. And that wraps around that ball. And those are plagioclases. And that embeds itself like a, like a spiky ball inside of whatever the matrix is around it and, and they don't rip out of there. So this ball transitions into a strap and I'm going to show you that in a second. This is the tendon ball that I'm talking about right down there. Okay, you see that? That's the ball and they are spiky and like crazy. Now that should not be outside of a bone. That's supposed to be inside stuck into something. You see the straps? And they go through that little finger trap they call it. And that is what keeps this mat from, from just floating around nowhere. And, and that's what anchors them. And they have a couple that show they're right on top of each other and so forth. Anyway, that's the ball. All right, this is a mud fossil bone. And this is where the, you see that, that hole right there and all those little tiny holes in behind it? That's how they anchor these balls into the, the, the bones and um, those are ligaments and tendons and that's how they invest themselves into other tissue and this is I'm going to show you that in a microscope shot now in, in the, that's in a in a normalish size person or whatever it was creature this here is the kind of ball that you find in the giants and that I cut off it was round as a cue ball and I have another one right here it was cut and, and it, they, they have that same architecture they have that round and they invest themselves and inside here you see that this has been eaten by acids but inside where those little vessels are those little holes those would have been the uh, fibrils and here's the one that this this was never in acid you see how the, those little white spiky things in it they call them plagioclases well what they are is those are the anchors and they, they anchor out into the, the, the tissue that's around it. Now, this had two straps, one going over the other. And this particular architecture here, it fits in what they call a Chinese finger trap. And that invests in, and then it, it sits in here like this. And that's what holds the strap in place. And I'm going to show you that. All right, you remember the tendon ball I showed you before with all the spiky. That would be a, a complete ball. And that is the strap running back, and it's been, the strap has been like gassed off. Now, look at those right there down at the bottom. Those are spiky emphasis points from tendons. And they, this is exactly what you expect to see here from the fibrous transition into the tendon balls. And the, the, there's things that will wear away. The straps go bad because they're, they're of a different chemical nature. And the spiky balls have plagioclases and uh, olivines in them. Okay, I believe I showed this before. And there's the strap coming down with all that spiky looking stuff. Uh, you know, that is the strap material. And then it comes down to the, to the ball. And the ball has all the spikes around it, like I said. Now, this one right down here is from a giant creature that's much bigger. And it was in, this is uh, limonite, I believe they call this, and it is the product of volcanic areas. Now, you see this spiky little stuff that's coming down here? That's the, that, that was the um, 
that was the strap and this was the ball only it's crushed but you can see there's the teeth there's the teeth in the ball right around there and that would have held solid in there so that that tendon could do what it was supposed to do all right if you can see all these little boulders here all over the sides I'm saying those are emphasis points and I showed you what the emphasis points are, are built like and that's what they are built like and I can guarantee you that if you t do this the geology on this you'll find out that that's exactly what they are and these basalt columns they call them are fibers of muscles and the reason that they're separated from each other is because of fascia and fascia separates muscles and because the you see in these muscles the little striations they're little like they look like little, little barrels that is where the muscles divide and that's the pinching part of the muscle all right this is uh, I'm not sure what kind of a bone it is but this is one of those bone foramens it's a cavity in the bone and inside of it you have your vein and your artery and those run to support this bone now, I don't know what kind of a bone it is but every bone has it and there's bones right there that have them now there should be little holes in there inside that bone you should see a, a two other holes that are the vein and the artery supply or it could be a nerve but these are what causes this now you see those little cracks and things in there all those little cracks are the that's the, the covering the uh, this stuff here it's the um, fascia and the, the any kind of sheathing it's over in the skin now it's the same as this stuff this is on a lung so that's what, what it is and all I can tell you is that's what it is so it needs to be looked at and uh, every bit of this giant fits exactly to the scheme of life